Okay, three, two, one, start this project. All right. On a recent morning, this group met in a fallow tomato field in North San Diego County to break ground on a unique project. Therese Bradford of the Army Corps of Engineers was one of half a dozen people from various public and private agencies to grab a shovel and turn over the first symbolic clod of dirt. Well, this is a very exciting project. We've been actually working on and turning this area from tomato farm to conservation. We've been wanting to do that for about 15 to 20 years. This is one of the most important parts of the San Luis Rey River for restoration. Lots of wildlife depends on the San Luis Rey River, but for decades the Singh family has grown vine-ripe tomatoes in these fields, and a section of the river has been channeled into a straight canal, very different from the wooded habitat on either side of the property. Jeff Novak is with Wildlands, the private mitigation banking company that plans to move tons of dirt to recreate the winding riverbed. Currently, the San Luis Rey River is um, constrained to this narrow Arundo-lined canal, basically, that's armored with you know giant riprap stones on the banks. And so, I mean, essentially, we're going to be setting the river free and allowing you know, dense riparian vegetation, including willows and cottonwoods and mule fat to colonize the river, shade the river, and really the river will be able to meander and spread out into the flat agricultural lands out behind us there. Right, this is a rendering of what the site's gonna look like. The Singh family was reluctant to let go of even part of the land it has farmed for so long. But Brian Monaghan, vice president with Wildlands, said they were able to offer a strong incentive because restoring wetlands generates millions of dollars in mitigation credits. My guess is that they'll, they'll be probably around a half a million dollars an acre. It's not, it's not cheap. So uh, we would sell these wetlands to third parties who have permits from either the Army Corps or the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, that could be your local highway department. It could be the city of Oceanside. It could be a developer who's developing somewhere here in the region. Monaghan says this is the first time he's found that recreating habitat rather than preserving habitat pencils out for mitigation credits. As land gets more and more scarce, um, and th that I could see where we're actually ripping concrete out at some point um, in order to do restoration. This is not the only site where a mitigation banking company is interested in returning the land to its original state. A few miles to the east lays the shuttered San Luis Rey Downs golf course, where the owners want to sell to another mitigation banker who would turn the fairways back into riparian habitat. Twelve, thirteen million dollars. A local group the called Save the Downs, Downs has sprung up, and John Frandell is leading the charge against what he sees as an attack. This is the very first time that any large-scale developed property has been attacked by a mitigation bank and, and to be destroyed, to be 350,000 cubic yards of dirt to be moved out and then to be fenced in the middle of the community. This hasn't been done before. Frandell says Save the Downs is considering an initiative to block the mitigation bank. But it's the transfer of the wealth from, from all these homeowners. All these homeowners have lost 25 to 30 percent. Now their values have gone down today because of the abandonment of the, of the golf course and the threat of the mitigation bank. To Frendel and his neighbors, riparian habitat is death to real estate values. I can tell you, look behind me. This is the natural habitat. Therese Bradford of the Army Corps says she's urging the mitigation banking company Conservation Land Group to work with the community to meet their concerns. This is, she says, a learning process. I guess it depends on your definition of open space. Some people think of that as open water in a lagoon. Other people might appreciate riparian. Other people might think that's a, a ballpark. Returning land within urbanized areas back to its natural state and selling it as mitigation for development elsewhere is a new concept, Bradford says, but it could become more common. I think this is a great example of a private and public partnership that really works for the landowner the Sing Farms and for Wildlands, the banker. And I know that people are really knocking on the door. There's a huge need for it. However, even the project at Sing Farms took well over a decade to get to the point where all parties involved were ready to break ground. How much more do we have left, Cindy? <laughs> <laughs> Allison St. John, KPBS News. Thank you all again. Thank you.